Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. You know that feeling you get when a new Sims pack is about to come out and all you can think about is that Sims pack? Well, that's exactly how I felt when I built this ranch in preparation for the Sims 4 Horse Ranch. Now, I know this is a little bit late, but it was really nerve-wracking because I built this ranch and I actually did not know how I was going to do this video because I have never actually done this type of video before where I do a speed build and I basically watch the speed build and just kind of talk about it to the camera because building is quite hard for me like I am not I wouldn't say I'm the best builder I would say I prefer more decorating having to actually relax on my own and actually build without like having to think about what I'm saying to the camera is actually was actually really relaxing and also on the other side I as you can tell I I love to talk I love to rant I love to just ramble about what's on my head so having to just look at what I've built while I just talk to the camera is a bit freeing it is also kind of nerve-wracking because I also have to like plan this video beforehand and also have to think about what i have to say for like the next 20 minutes while i watch my own speed build it's it's, it's a blessing and a curse basically this build was actually supposed to be the ranch i would do use for my um ranch shut up this build is actually the build i planned on using my host ranch lp i actually plan on doing like a restoration let's play where i would like kind of do a racks to riches basically and use the money to kind of restore the ranch to like look a bit better but i ended up deciding against that idea not really i can't really remember the reason why but i ended up just building this ranch as like just what it is a ranch so for the barn because obviously by this time i didn't know the items that were actually going to come with the pack um and this video is a bit late because the pack is in fact out i have already started my lp but I didn't know the items were going to come with the pack. So I basically went for this typical American red barn. And I now do realize that it does in fact look like a murder house. Like it's so dark. And I don't know the red on the inside. It looks like you're about to like be killed. <laughs> so I ended up going for the typical red barn look. And thank goodness we have like barn doors like actually more fitting for this build. So for the lights, um, one thing about the Sims 4 lights, most of them are actually not that bright. So what I tend to do is I do like put in the lights that actually fit into the aesthetic. And then I obviously use my favorite lights and I kind of hide them behind it. So we still get that bright effect, but also still have the aesthetic effect of having the lights that we want. I may be talking a bit too fast. I'm going to try to calm down. The video is really fast. So it's kind of making my brain go wild. So I actually built in like the separate beds. Obviously we have beds now for horses. But we just basically have these stalls for the horses to stay in. And I don't know what convinced me to use the red on the inside. Because it is really dark on the inside. It kind of looks like a slaughterhouse where you would definitely be murdered. One thing I really struggle with in building is definitely the exterior. And having to like do the exterior of a building and also like be actively looking at the camera trying to think about what i'm saying is actually really hard so watching the build i have already created i mean it's not that big of a build it's not that good of a build but it was like really relaxing like something about building farms in the sims 4 is just really relaxing like obviously i really love modern builds and i would really like to like be good at making modern builds obviously i'm not that good actually I'm really good at making these type of like old cottage builds and I love how I went on like a mental spiral about how the pillars columns in the sims 4 are so broken like I went on like a whole mental like rant on like how the columns refuse to work and as I would say exteriors are really hard for me because I used to see this thing where Lil, Sim Lil, Lil Simsy does where she basically just puts this roof on and it just looks good but when i tried it it absolutely looked disgusting so i ended up deciding against that like um first floor porch area i ended up just going for the downstairs porch back to the topic of what i was talking about about how this video is really quite hard to make because i kind of have to plan ahead and think of like what i have to say while i wait for this 20 minute video to actually finish i actually wrote down everything i wanted to rant about i'm not sure if you can see it but i actually wrote down everything i wanted to rant about but I have actually exhausted all the ideas. I love how I went on this like whole thing about the door. Like the door was really upsetting me. Like I think I actually changed the door that we have now. Um, the Stranger Field windows. I think the Stranger Field windows really look good in this like blue suburban build. And I really had a hard time like picking out the roofs. I don't know why but it kind of felt weird to have like a dark roof in contrast to like what was going on with like the blue um, wallpaper but it kind of ended up looking good at the end 
For the inside, the floor plan, oh, floor plans. I hate floor plans so much, especially when there's like an upper floor, because you kind of have to find out like what's the best for like the, um, the stairs placement and everything just kind of gets a bit jungled. But I ended up deciding on a very simple floor plan. I basically just decided everything, gave every single room a window and basically plopped in a bathroom. And I think it actually really worked well with this. I'm not sure what, how I, I, yes, I went back to the door to actually change that. And I think I ended up with a base game door. So I think I actually ended up going for a base game door because it was really upsetting. Um, so then we actually went on into the kitchen and I actually really love this like little corner kitchen situation. And I actually really did not notice like, but the cottage living counters are so cute, especially with this green swatch. I really love like green has been my go to recently. I'm sorry, but this video is really fast and I, I really can't keep up. Like my, my mouth is going forward. My brain is kind of backwards. So I was kind of placing everything, trying to find out where everything will fit best. Then I went here and I was trying to like position the stairs well. And then the window placement, like I hate window placement so much. Like they just make everything a little bit awkward because obviously the obvious thing is like copy the front to the back. But then sometimes like obviously now we have our stairs and that kind of blocks off everything. It makes everything a little bit awkward. I wanted to use that basement treasures TV, but I'm not sure it's actually really functional. I feel like that's a thing with EA nowadays. Nowadays, they're more focused on just giving us decoration blocks than actually giving us functional blocks. Um, yeah, and that's actually really sad and I really hate that. The way I actually kind of build is actually really stressful because I don't actually have an idea of what I'm going to do in my head. I basically scroll through everything and find what actually looks good. Like you will literally see me placing every single wallpaper until I finally decided on this one, which is custom content. Like even with the sofa, I place down every single one, like even ones that don't even fit the vibe at all until I finally decided on this one. And what I like to do when I build, I kind of like to build around like a family story. Like I just come up with a, a random family story in my head. For some reason, this cottage, I imagine an elder sim living with her, living with her young adults. Like explain why I just placed blood. Like the way I build is so unhinged. I literally place down everything. Explain why I just, I don't even know why I have that custom content, honestly. Because I don't know what the aim was, probably for machinimas, but I'm not really, that, I'm not that talented. Like, I don't know why, I don't even know why I have that piece of custom content. Like, obviously, I'm not as talented as those, like, people who do machinimas, I'm so impressed. Because getting a sim to stay in a particular pose is so hard. So the fact that people make full-on movies and series, like, I'm watching um, Ward University. I don't know who it's by, but if I find it, I'll probably, like, put it on the screen. But it's so good. And I'm, I'm sorry that I'm like rambling and like going off like really bad tangents. But I just, I as I said before, I just really love talking. And basically just saying everything that's on my mind. What was I saying before? Anyways, so I actually did end up at this part. Like, I don't know why, but like most of my builds, I tend to add like a reading nook. So I added a reading nook and I actually just remembered that the book nook kit came out. So I just basically went into the kits and just basically poured out everything that came from this book kit and it looks so good the things we got from this book kit looks so good i know that people are really not fans of the kits that have been coming out lately because with, with the whole like cash grabby thing but i really really love this kit and i really love the items that come with them like look at that little corner that looks so good and i was so proud of it like it's not that much of a big it's not that big of a deal but i was so proud of this book nook but as I was saying before, I really do like to kind of build around like a family story. Like for some reason, I came up with like an elder sim with her children and probably their partner. And they have a child sim and an infant in the situation. I obviously wanted to add in an infant because growing together is still ripe in my mind. I love growing together so much. Growing together is one of my best packs ever. I think it has taken the place of eco lifestyle in my life. Honestly, eco lifestyle now that i think about it eco lifestyle was not that big of a pack like it was not that good of a pack like the gameplay like there's really not much gameplay like i can tell you i have never actually done the whole like turn the neighborhood green gameplay before i've tried it never worked so i basically just gave up on it and just basically started like fueling my things with the generator and like playing with the bees and the insects that was basically my favorite part of eco lifestyle 
but honestly i just feel like if for me eco lifestyle is just a building pack because the build by items that came with eco lifestyle are so good and i just think that the gameplay is really not that much like it may be an unpopular opinion but that is just my um that's just my opinion on the matter another thing i really forget to do in my builds is the fact that i forget to put curtains everywhere but yeah i forget to put curtains and i really really love that werewolf item that i put in the front porch it's really good and this is the part where i like get into like a whole section of just placing down random items like as you can see i would just place down every single item that calls to me until i find the one that actually matches the build and then go for that and that's why most of the time like i barely know half of the items that we actually have in the game i never like actually try to use different things like if there's an item i really love i'm probably gonna use that item every single time and also for the fact that i have a lot of custom content too i basically tend to use that instead of actually using the sims game so at this point i think i was really really proud of this like living room section we actually ended up going for the fireplace i thought i may have changed that back to the old basement treasures tv but apparently i didn't i was kind of finding it hard to kind of fit because there was a really long room and i was planning on fitting a bathroom down here so i what i ended up doing is i ended up dividing the room into two and kind of making like a laundry room at the back end and I basically adjusted the room to kind of fit everything in. On the topic of the horse ranch, because obviously, as I am filming my voiceover for this, I have already played with the horse ranch expansion pack. The horse ranch expansion pack, um, mm, 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 mm. I still will stand by the fact that um, the horse ranch expansion pack should have not been an expansion. Oh my god, I can't speak. Should not have been an expansion pack and instead a game pack because i still feel like there wasn't enough features to be actually classed as an expansion pack and i do feel like it wasn't fair to everyone who has bought the pack because we have had a lot of great packs high school years was really good um favorite expansion pack probably growing together honestly because it came with infant update obviously so my favorite pack would probably be growing together Growing Together came with a lot of new stuff, and Horse Ranch basically came with horses. Yeah, so my review on Horse Ranch Expansion Pack would probably, I would probably give it a 4. Like, that's <laughs> that's a really bad review actually, but I'll probably give it a 4. Yeah, so that's that. For the bedroom, this is the master bedroom, probably for like the young adult couple in the household. And I really love how like the bed matched in with the future wall. I've really loved adding in future walls in all my builds lately. I really love how the green and blue kind of match with the future wall at the back of the at the back of the headboard. And for the children's rooms, yeah, you, you see that I, it, there was kind of a cut in the video. That's because my game crashed. <laughs> but for the children's room, I kind of I love making children's room because we can kind of go. We not everything has to be all mitchy matchy. We can kind of like have fun with the colors a bit. It was kind of a challenge kind of squeezing in all the things that the infant needs into this tiny room. So I had to use like the wall um, changing table and I had to use the bunk bed so I could fit a desk in there um, for some homework and stuff like that. Um, so I really enjoy making children's room, especially placing clutter. I really love like placing the things on the desk, like the art and craft flower pots. It's really, really fun. Now for the elder in the household, I really enjoyed this room also, like I'm so proud of myself for this room. So the elder scene was kind of giving maximalist, I tried to go for the maximalist vibe, but I think I just ended up going for very much, I don't know, very much a floral, like I just went, ended up going like extra floral, extra cluttery, but I was planning on going for a maximalist vibe. I don't know why, but I felt like this grandma was kind of giving very much, um, in my head, she was kind of giving the vibe of um, um, the guy with the cold hard cash is always myth the right um, because we are in a material world and I am a material girl and she was definitely a material girl in her younger days. So I kind of went for like a stylish grandma who is she's probably out of the time. She probably still wears like is into like the 80s looks, but she is very much fun. So I kind of put like I really love the base metal treasures. I've kind of put like pictures. That's obviously Bob and Eliza pancakes but i kind of thought like maybe it was a painting of maybe it was a painting of of a picture of her and her husband 
and then I put those city living posters so she's probably like explored a bit like she's not a stay-at-home mom she probably wants to like do she probably wants to go out explore the town and she's probably gotten some souvenirs so I headed up into the garden and I basically just placed down it's kind of a small garden it's not really much I didn't really want to go for a mainstream farm where like you like sell most of your produce kind of just like a sustenance farming kind of thing where I'm just farming for like me and my family and it's like just a really cute garden kind of situation and I love on this part like I wanted to do some landscaping and I went a whole rant on like how we never get the matching ones to like outside the lot and I ended up just going for that one instead I really admire and I really am really envious of people who can do landscaping and it looks so natural like I, I don't know how many times I probably there's probably a cut in this video because I tried so many times to get the landscaping right and like it just looked too like not real in a way like it just looked so like exactly it just looked drawn on I even went for like this um mud on the sides to kind of make it a little bit more natural it just still looked very drawn on so I'm really envious of people who can actually do that I went I also tried Danielle's builds Danielle's build tactic of like putting stones along the edge but it did not work out so this is actually one of my favorite parts of building kind of adding landscaping because it ends up just being like placing trees and plants and everything and then for some reason I actually searched up hay and I found these live edits like hay blocks everywhere and I kind of just got into a spiral of just placing live edit objects and obviously I knew life edit and debug were a thing but I did not know they had this much good items because why do we have that and why is that not an actual part of the game so I basically went into life edit and debug and I basically started placing everything this ivy is growing up on the wall that is my favorite item in the entire game I am obsessed with it the way it looks so like beautiful and overgrown like I just love that so yeah kind of the rest of the i'm basically done with the build now the rest of the build was basically me just placing in a lot of live edit items so i kind of made the shop stand with like a lot of juice boxes they're probably selling a little bit to kind of hold the family together but mostly what they produce on the farm is for their sustenance and i also placed this like broken fence post everywhere they look really good i also placed those cabbages on the farm plot i thought that was really cute i placed this little like everything in live edit was so cute these little animal feeders or fertilizers or whatnot so, but i kind of placed that on the chicken coop to kind of look like it's the seeds for the chickens then i placed this truck to kind of look like a delivery truck they're getting stuff from outside or maybe they're transporting stuff outside and I just really, really enjoyed this build. So I think that's the end of it, actually. I think that's the end of it. I think we might head into game to see the build for ourselves. But I am actually really proud of the... Like, Life Edit definitely brought the build to life. I am actually really proud of it. And I hope you like it too. So tell me what you think in the comments below. That's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe. And YouTube thinks you're gonna like this video, so see you there, right? And I'll catch you guys over there. Good damn bye.